Hi kids! Isang matatag na araw. I'm Sir Noy and welcome to Mat Bilang. In this video, you will learn how to reduce fractions to simplest form. But first, let's have a drill on division. 5 4 7 6 Let's have a review. What are the factors of 12? Here are the factors of 12. What are the factors of 36? Here are the factors of 36. Now, let's reduce fractions to simplest form. The simplest form or lowest terms of a fraction is when the numerator and denominator are as so small as possible and have no common factors other than 1. So, 4 6 will become 2 thirds. To know how to reduce fractions, let's use the method using the GCF or the greatest common factor. The GCF is the largest number that divides both the numerator and the denominator without leaving a remainder. To reduce a fraction to its simplest form using the greatest common factor or the GCF, you follow these steps. 1. Find the GCF of the numerator and denominator. The GCF is the largest number that divides both the numerator and denominator evenly. Second, divide both the numerator and denominator by the GCF. For example, 40 60 -ths. Let's find the GCF of 40 and 60 to reduce this into lowest term. These are the pair of factors of 40. And these are the pair of factors of 60. So the factors of 40 are 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 10, 20, and 40. While the factors of 60 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 12, 15, 20, 30, and 60. Let's highlight all the common factors. Both numbers have 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. But the greatest factor is 20. Therefore, the GCF is 20. Let's divide both numerator and denominator by 20. The GCF. So 40 divided by 20 is 2. 60 divided by 20 is 3. Therefore, the lowest term for 40 60 yets is 2 thirds. Another one. 18 20 fourths. Let's find the GCF of 18 and 24. These are the pair of factors of 18. And these are the pair of factors of 24. The factors of 18 are 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. The factors of 24 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24. Let's highlight the common factors. The common factors are 1, 2, 3, and 6. And the greatest common factor is 6. Let's divide both numerator and denominator by 6. 18 divided by 6 is 3. 24 divided by 6 is 4. Therefore, 18 24 will become 3 fourths. Another one. 20 35ths. Let's find the GCF of 20 and 35. These are the pair of factors of 20. These are the pair of factors of 35. The factors of 20 are 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. The factors of 35 are 1, 5, 7, and 35. Let's highlight the common factors. They both have 1 and 5. But the greater 1 is 5. So our GCF is 5. Let's divide both the numerator and denominator by 5. 20 divided by 5 is 4. 35 divided by 5 is 7. Therefore, the simplest form 
of 2035 is 4 sevenths. Let's try! Reduce the fraction in simplest form. Three fourths. Four fifths. Three fifths. Activity time. Activity number one. Choose the correct simplest form for each fraction. Let's answer! Activity number 2. Match the fraction to its lowest form. Here are the answers. Activity number 3. Reduce the following fractions to its simplest form.
Here are the answers. Always remember to reduce fractions to their simplest form using the GCF method, find the greatest common factor, or the GCF, of the numerator and denominator. Then, divide both by the GCF. This simplifies the fractions to its lowest terms, making it easier to work with. Thank you so much for watching! Please subscribe to my channel and like my Facebook page. Happy learning!